Good morning, everybody. I hope y'all are in a wonderful mood today. I hope it stays that way for the rest of the day and throughout the whole weekend. Just trying to start this weekend out with the best feeling, the best mood I can possibly go. Um, this weekend, I go and spend the, the weekend with my youngest granddaughter, and we get to decorate her room, move all her stuff into her new, you know, they're moving into their new house. So, uh, you know, I'm just excited and raring to go, guys. Now, remember, uh, keep watching because um, I'm going to be putting in the third item for the scavenger hunt in this video. And this video is technically as... The, I don't know if the description or the title is going to state this or not, but it's sort of a a corrections video, and not really a correction, but there has been some uh, discrepancies, I guess is what you would call it, about the video I did yesterday. Now, I have every faith in my mods and the people that do the research for me. But everybody is entitled to make a mistake, including myself, including the person that left this comment on their community tab. Now, I'm not going to call this person out because I don't know if they want to be called out or not. And I don't know if they were meaning it directly to me or meaning it in a bad way, good way. I respect this other creator and I do watch their channel. So I'm not trying to bash them or, or go against them. But I will say, folks, anybody who thinks that I have put out incorrect information, you are more than welcome to get a hold of me through email, or if you have my phone number, you can text me, call me, whatever. You do not have to go, I mean, I'm and I'm not saying that you can't or there's anything wrong with it. I'm just stating that, you know, if you feel that I have put out incorrect information, please come to me and let me know. I don't have a problem in the world with correcting something that I've put out there as long as it can be proven that my information is incorrect. And because of, as of this morning, there's no way for me to find that out before I can put this video out because my day is going to be filled. So I'm going to read the comment that was put out there and it was in concerns of the 21 hour thing and whether or not the press conference. Now, the, the person that did the research got a hold of, I'm assuming they got a hold of WBIR and WBIR stated that the press conference took place at one o'clock on June the 16th, 2021. That's what they said and I believe them. But now this other creator says, the times and dates of the TBI joint press briefings in June 2021 for Summer Wells are depicted below. And in a recent ATC video, the first press briefing was June 16th at 4 p.m. So when Sheriff Lawson refers to the past 21 hours, it seems to reflect on his department having begun the search for Summer at approximately 7 p.m. The time from 7 p.m. to 4 p.m. the following day is 21 hours. This is in alignment with the initial information given to the public. The timeline for Summer Wells going missing was said to be at approximately 6.30 p.m. It is listed on the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children as approximately 6 p.m. I am posting this in response to confusion over the time of the first press conference, which was at 4 p.m., not 1 p.m., as that was the time the second press briefing was held, not the first one, and what the 21 hours remark was referring to. The context was in regards to searching for Summer, not necessarily to when she actually went missing. When she actually went missing is unclear. And, and like I said, guys, I don't mind coming out and saying, hey, I'm wrong or that I was misinformed. Now, like I said, I have every faith in the person who done the research and found this information out. But until I can clarify it through WBIR themselves, 
I'm not going to say I was wrong, but I do want to put this information out there in the chance that I was wrong so that you all can have the clarification of the mistake if there was one made. As of right now, I'm not saying it was a mistake, but I just want everybody to have all the information so they can decide for themselves. But I will be coming out probably uh, next week because this whole weekend I'm going to be really super busy. But I'll be coming out with a clarification video next week um, on exactly what WBIR or one of the other news stations says. Okay. Now, to the next item up on this video. When Discovering the Truth was doing research for me yesterday, she was doing some digging on some things that I had asked her to, to find out for me. And it included um, doing finding out some information about EquiSearch, one of the people that work at EquiSearch. And when she started looking up, you know, looking for team members that worked at EquiSearch, she pulled up this the the team members' names, and she was looking through, and and this name comes up: Sean Jones from Kima, Texas. He's a foot searcher. And she's like, that looks like Sean Connery. So she goes and looks up pictures of Sean Connery. And guess what, guys? Here is the page she pulled up for Sean Connery. And what is at the top of this page in pictures of Sean Connery? The same exact picture. The same picture as is shown for Sean Jones. So she got a hold of me. And she's like, look at this. So I go and look it up. And sure enough, we find the picture and name of Mr. Sean Jones. And then we look and guess what? Legendary actor Sean Connery. Same exact picture. Same picture. And here's another one where it's announcing that he is, you know, passed away at the age of 90. So, guys, I'm not saying, I'm not sure exactly what I'm saying here. I'm just saying if anybody can uh, help us figure this out, because we've searched and searched and searched, trying to figure in whichever direction. And it's not like, you know, you actually, she saw a commercial, you know, that, you know, how they're placed in the middle of a, of a article. No, because I went and searched and this is what I came up with also. Um, now we've, here's where we've searched. Now the second search on this, where it says Sean Jones, Kima, Texas foot searcher, the, the second one down. If you click on that, it takes you to a page that says it's been removed. Here's a phone number, an email address, a P.O. box for this man. And when you open that up, you get the, or not open it up, but when you click on this three little dots in the corner, this pops up and this link shows up. And it has that man's name in this link. If you click on that link, it goes to a page that has been removed. So I'm wondering... <laughs> Is there a man that works for EquiSearch that is an identical twin and who poses as Sean Connery? Or is this some kind of a, a, I don't even know what you would call it. If anybody has a clue why this man is using Sean Connery's picture and he's supposedly a foot searcher for EquiSearch out of Texas, please let me know. I mean... This sounds ridiculous, guys, but it's just some of the crazy stuff that you run across when you're doing research about these kids and stuff. If anybody has a clue, please let me know. And then finally, we're getting to the... Okay, guys, you know what that sound is. 
It is the third item in the scavenger hunt. I hope everybody's playing along. Now, the third item in the scavenger hunt is going to be go and find a red Toyota Tacoma pickup truck. Now, the one that is pictured is a year, the year is 2000, but it can be a year 1999 to 2000. If you can't find one of those years or you don't know the years like I don't know the years. You can find a red Toyota Tacoma uh, any year and take a selfie standing in front of it where it's in the background behind you, where you're standing beside it. As long as your face is in that picture and with the red Toyota Tacoma, we're doing good. So get that snapshot took, get it sent to me through email, and I'll see you guys on the next video.